What's up, YouTube family? Justin Um here, and we're gonna dive into on how uh, to lose weight. But before all that, please subscribe to my channel for more awesome content on the way. Now, how do we lose weight? Well, I'll show you, I'll break it down on what you need to use and the steps in order to lose weight. So, let's get started. Now, a lot of people, when they try, when they think of losing weight, they say, oh, I need to go on a diet. What's the best diet for it? Well, get rid of diet from your vocabulary, all right? Let's not call it diet, but we're gonna call it nutritional plan. Because in order to lose weight, you get a plan on how your body reacts to the different types of food, environment, exercise, everything, right? It's, it's planning. So I don't like to use the term diet, use the term terminology, nutritional plan, and nutritional planning, okay? So how do we get that started? Like what tools do I need in order to lose weight? There's no best way to do it. Each person is different based on uh, their needs. And the best plan for you is whatever plan that you're gonna stick with, okay? A lot of pe people uh, fail um, their new year resolution or um, their nutrition plan that they start with because they don't stick with it. Consistency is the key, guys. And if you're not consistent in anything, even with your everyday life, then you're planning to fail, so, right? So you gotta, but we're gonna plan to succeed. And this is gonna be a mini series on the different types of nutrition plan that I personally went through and what I prefer, but each of you is different. And in this video, I'm gonna show how to find out how much calories you need to burn in order to lose weight. So here we go. Like, how do, how do I lose weight? Like, people are probably asking their, this question all the time. I mean, New Year's, uh, it's already halfway through the month already, and people probably already started their New Year resolution. This is the, this is the most, uh, time where the gyms are crowded and then uh, people try to lose weight just by trying to exercise a lot. And to lose weight, you don't even need to exercise, right? I mean, people like to say it's 80% uh, 80 diet, 20% uh, exercising. But I like to go further, I think diet is 90% and exercise that last 10% to help you over that hump. So, but, it, but that'll come in a different video. But right now, we gotta find out your individual needs on how to lose weight. So first and foremost, we gotta find out your metabolic rate. How much calories do I need to take in order to lose weight, to stay this, my current weight, or to gain weight? So BMR stands for basal metabolic rate, right? And that's, like I said, that's how much you need your body needs to stay alive, how much your calories your body needs to intake to function, right? There's a lot of formulas out there, but it gets a little confusing if I write down the whole formula verbatim. So there's other calculators you could use, and I'll tell you one of the sites I like to use to uh, find out my BMR. It's iifym.com slash BMR dash calculator. And That'll only not only give you the calculator and the actual equation to figure out your BMR, but it'll also explain in detail what's BMR, what's uh, TD, um, all these other um, de um, vocabularies you guys probably are familiar with, but don't really know the extensive uh, research that's behind it. And th this is a good site over here that explains that in detail. All right, now you guys figured out your BMR. Now we gotta find out your activity levels. And you guys can Google this, but to find out your activity level, just type in on Google, Harris Benedict Formula. And it'll break down uh, what you should multiply by your BMR with based on your activity levels. So let's say you have a sedentary lifestyle, desk job, exercise like one to twice a week. You just multiply your BMR by 1.2. But the, un the extreme end of that, let's say you're a professional athlete or a collegiate athlete that trains twice a day, six to seven days a week, and you multiply by 1.9. So let's say a person's BMR is 2,000. 
then you multiply, and let's say he's a, he's a professional athlete, then he'll multiply uh, that by 1.9. And that total number is how much you need to eat to maintain your weight. So if you multiply this, it should come out to be 3,800. 3,800, and you, that's, for this individual, you need to eat 3,800 calories to maintain that weight. But, like I said in this video, we're trying to lose weight here. So depending on how aggressive your approach, you, heard, you guys all heard the term, oh, you just need to eat less calories than you burn. That's 100% accurate. So very simple, right? So 3,800, let's say I don't want, I, I don't want to be on the slow end of things. I just mine 500. Just mine 500. I'll, I'll tell you why I like to do 500. Uh, that should come out to be 3,300, right? 3,300. Why did I minus? Why do I just want to do 500? Why don't I do like a thousand? Well, for I'm a bodybuilder uh, regiment, so I want to do as slow as possible so I retain that muscle mass, right? But also, it's very simple because 500. If you eat 500 um, less calories than you need in a week, you burn. 3,500, you'll be 3,500 under your maintenance level total in a week. And you need to burn at least, uh, you need to burn, not at least, you need to burn 3,500 calories in a week to lose one pound of fat. That's why I need 500. Some people like to go a thousand under deficit or so not. So that's the basic on how to figure out your uh, calorie needs when you, for muscle growth or for weight loss, or just for maintenance. Now we got all of that out of the way, we dive into the fun stuff, right? We're gonna use the numbers I used before. So this individual, for example, his maintenance calories is 3,800, okay? For fat loss, we minus 500 from the 3,800 to get his fat loss numbers, which is 3,300, okay? You guys following me right now? Now, now this 3,300 that he, the individual needs for fat loss is broken down to a set of macros, right? Macros is basically is, is a breakdown of protein, carbs, and fats. Okay, so now the 3,300, right, is broken down into, the, into macros, which is protein, carbs, and fats. And now, depending on your goal, you can break that however you want, but you could go on MyFitnessPal, uh, which is an app I use to track all my foods, but in order to get these numbers, you could manually calculate it, but that's too much out. You could go to MyFitnessPal site uh, and log in through Facebook, and they, they calculate it for you, so it makes it very simple for you guys, okay? So for bodybuilding purposes, I like to use the split 40, 40, 20 split. So 40% of my calories is going to be from protein, 40% of my carb calories is going to be from uh, carbs, and then my last 20% is going to be from fats. And this is based on the 3300 numbers. And then when you add that all, it should be 3300 based on these numbers. So one gram of protein is four calories, one gram of carbs is four calories, one gram of fat is nine calories. You total these numbers I have right here, so if you break them the 40, 40, 20 split, which should equal 330 protein, 330 carbs, 73 grams of fat, which equals total 3300. I know it can get a little confusing, but once you start practicing it, then it'll be very simple. So this is a basic uh, intro uh, I'm gonna share with you guys. I mean, it's... There's a lot of numbers involved. People think you could just lose weight, which you could. You could just eat little based on eyeballing it, but that's inefficient. Um, this, I like to calculate everything in my head to make the best possible and efficient manner to for weight loss. And like I said, you don't need to exercise uh, to lose weight, but exercise do help. And if you exercise, you guys could eat more. I mean, who doesn't love food, right? On my next video, so I'm gonna break down the nutritional plans that I went through and what I prefer, but and it'll be each video will be different. So it's a little it's a mini series guys on nutritional planning for weight loss. And um, I'll do further videos for weight gain. But for now, if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel, 
Like this video, share it, I'll spread the word. I am a new fitness channel, guys, and I'm very excited to just share all my knowledge. And thank you all for watching me and for supporting me. But until next time, peace out.